Hi, this is Brian with Profitless Media and Post. And today I wanted to talk about how we can track in our paint and clone strokes inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion and retain their original position. So let's start by looking, taking a look at this clip. You can see we have this alien guy come in and say we want to paint over this light. We can track that but it's probably just as easy to track the sprinkler. So I'm going to go to the first frame. Let's add a tracker, connect up to the tracker, and let's grab our tracker and track the sprinkler. So we'll just track that to the end. So the really nice thing about this method is that no matter where we paint, we can keep the original position using this method. Okay, so now that we have our tracker, let's add in our paint and take a look through the paint. And let's find a good frame. So it doesn't really matter which frame. Uh, it was just, how about 44? That sounds good. Grab a stroke, set it to clone, and let's clean this up. Okay, whatever the case. Not the best clone I've done in the world, but um, you get the idea. What we need to do is we need to group all of these paint strokes. So let's get the selection tool, grab all our paint strokes, and then put them in a group. So if we have, we have our paint group here, then we can go over to our modifiers, open up the paint group. So we go to the center, and if we were to connect straight to the tracker, it's going to push everything off. So let's, if we did that, unsteady position, you can see that it pops it right to the center, and we don't want that. We want to keep these strokes exactly where they are. So the way to do this is to right-click, Modify with, Offset Position. And now we added a second modifier for the group. And we don't want to touch the position. We're going to use the offset. So in the offset, right-click, Connect to, Tracker 1, Unsteady Position. Now. That did the animation, but it offset all of our clone strokes. Luckily, in the paint group, if we open up that, we have this reset center, and that'll bring back our offset. So you click that, and then our strokes are right back here. And our tracking information is on our offset center, so everything is lined up. And it really doesn't matter which frame. And you can do this with multiple strokes or a single stroke. So. We can go to, I don't know, frame 16. Let's grab the clone. And to make it obvious, let's clone this right here and put it like right there. So now we have this new clone. So that's stroke seven. We have stroke seven selected. Turn that into a group. Now it's group two. Right click on the center. Modify with offset position and in the center here come to the offset right click Connect to tracker one unsteady position And that popped it out of the way open up our group two again Reset center and there we go now our stroke is exactly where we painted it in the first place and It's tracked in Through the entire shot Yeah. So that's just a quick little tip on how you can track in your clone and paint strokes inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion, retaining your original position. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you again in the next video.